been quite some time since I've done a video um, or even really communicated much on um, uh, Open Pilot or uh, the Comet channel on Discord. Uh, basically, I've been wanting to uh, take on my first, you know, big, big challenge or take on a big challenge with um, the modeling and uh, you know, try to learn new technologies um, around machine learning. And um, uh, basically, I started doing, started trying to do this about a year and a half ago, I guess, and I just kept getting sidetracked by. Um, Various things that just seemed more interesting at the time. I think they're probably more um, convenient or, or closer to my uh, comfort zone. Uh, so I spent a lot of time on lateral control, and I really enjoyed that. Made a lot of progress, but every time, uh, every time a new release of Open Pilot would come out, it would all be have to be reworked, and it was just a tremendous amount of effort uh, for no real gain. Um, uh, basically, I decided a couple months ago to make a hard break from. Uh, you know what I was doing and just just go dark um, uh, silent uh, while I focused on what I really needed to do and that was to um, you know explore what I what I've been uh, wanting to do for the whole time which was to uh, try to figure out what I could use or what I could do with the factory uh, camera the, the, the Bosch Honda um, unit. Basically, I know that it has a tremendous amount of data that's, that the car is not using. Um, part of that is the, um, uh, the LKAS um, torque value to, to recenter the car or help help the driver center the car in the lane. But that is that is like one percent of the of the um, functionality that the Bosch camera um, has. So I, I decided to really dig in and um, I created my first uh, uh, model that actually uses the um, factory camera with the data from the growth, 5% maybe of the factory camera data uh, to uh, steer the car, uh, basically to, to, to generate the path plan or, or the model output that, that is currently done by uh, Open Pilot uh, to, to mimic that uh, so that I can use the uh, functionality that's already built into Open Pilot um, as the back end um, and hopefully just not not need to have a camera on the windshield. And um, basically it's it's I, it was just about a week ago that I finally got reached the point where um, it would it would work, um, and since then I've, been, I've just been refactoring, refactoring, and improving, and, and um, uh, not, not haven't done any tuning, haven't really figured out how to how my own tuning works, and it, it's, I've forgotten all of that stuff. Uh, but basically, the um, uh, the results are so much better than I could have imagined. The the quality of the data from the Bosch hardware is so high. Um, there's very little noise. Um, it's not quite at the, the same frame rate uh, per second as uh, the, e or the EON's um, or open commas model. Um, commas is at 20 hertz and the, the factory camera is at 15. Um, but I think that there's actually more useful information in that 15 hertz than there is in the 20 because it's, it's uh, capturing uh, not just not just information about this lane, but it's capturing information about the both lanes um, on, each, on each side, uh, which which makes it a whole. I, I believe will make it a whole lot easier for um, uh, filtering out um, exits, um, turn lanes, which are a big thing for me because uh, I don't really spend as much time on the highway as I do on surface streets. Um, but. <sighs> Basically, for, for this being my very first model, um, that I, I just, just started learning the technology two months ago, uh, I really feel like there is a tremendous amount of um, room to improve uh, from where I'm at right now. And uh, basically, I've, I've only, I only have um, 11 hours of training data 
because I've, mis I have, I've intentionally been limiting uh, my training data to just what I what I kind of what, what was good enough I believed for um, achieving what I needed to do um, as a starting point because I didn't want to have a moving target um, uh, to where I where I couldn't know whether my my changes in the model um, architecture um, were creating an improvement or whether just the data was so um, do, I've been stuck or staying at that 11 hours for about a month and um, now I think it's time for me to go ahead and uh, start increasing that learning data and uh, you know, trying to get um, other other cars other than just my own um, to supplement it see, see if it performs as well on, on other Bosch Hondas um, basically it, it, I didn't mention it but this is a Bosch Honda Model. Um, and I, I don't. I, I'm not sure, you know, how well this this will lift and shift over, uh, or the strategy will work with other platforms. Um, I don't know if the Nida Hondas have as good of a um, uh, camera um, as, as the Bosch. Uh, it, at first glance, it looks like it might. Um, it does have a high frame rate. So it might actually have a higher frame rate than the Bosch, uh, but I don't know, I've forgotten. Um, I also don't know what the Toyota um, camera's output is, um, but I'm really excited about this and I think it's, that, that I'm, I'm hoping that um, uh, even though I don't think Kama is going to really be happy about this um, um, advancement, hoping that they'll embrace it and realize that they need to consider alternatives to just the Eon. Uh, basically, there's there's a lot of money already invested in the existing hardware, and, and basically, just the, 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 the functionality in that hardware needs to be unleashed. Um, it doesn't need to be replaced. So the fact that, that Honda has decided to just use 1% of the functionality of the Bosch camera, it doesn't, doesn't excuse doesn't make the make the hardware worthless. Um, I think that this that this custom built um, or custom designed uh, Bosch camera it was designed from the ground up to do exactly um, this and it plus um, so it, it, it the other 90% of the data that, that, that the camera puts out is actually radar tracking data so it has it has data or tracks for all of these vehicles up here in front, left and right, front and back, relative speeds, relative offsets, um, and it's just amazing. So it, it really seems to me that um, if, if Kama wants to uh, really break out, I think they need to consider going more toward the direction of the Black Panda um, and start offering a stealth installation with hardware that will support the factory camera um, without having an Eon. Um, I, I would buy one. Um, that's basically, that, that's what I want. I'm not trying to get away from Kama, um, but I am trying to get away from the Eon. And I want to use the, the superior day, the superior equipment that's already here in the car. So basically I, you know, I've got the Eon still hooked up. It's still there and, and it's, it's acting as the, um, you know, it's, it's the server, I guess. Uh, and the camera's running, but it's not being used. So basically, I, I can cover it, and I can actually even go ahead and just remove it um, and put it wherever I want to. Um, currently, it's, it's you know, kind of convenient to leave it, um, leave it where it is. And, oh, it, you know, until I get a, a, a panda black, or a black panda, Kind of like Panda Black, but um, Black Panda, um, and figure out what kind of hardware I'm gonna. I, I doubt that I'm gonna use the, the Eon um, as my server because it's it's on its way out. Basically, the battery is toast. Uh, it lasts about two hours just sitting there, and uh, so if it's gonna be in my glove box, it might as well be like a um, 
Intel NUC or uh, you know some other SBC like. So I was planning on just stopping this, uh, you know, stopping the, uh, the video, but this last uh, model is actually doing better than I expected. I, I haven't done um, much training at all uh, with um, you know basically just side roads like this where we have just single single uh, lane stride uh, so I'm surprised that it's doing this well um, I need to I need to record more training data on roads like this um, instead of the, the, um, the pristine um, interstate sort of toll road uh, lanes like right now it's starting to drift over um, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and go to my my old faithful uh, testing testing spot, which I haven't been to in a long time, uh, to see how it does on some curves.
another girl. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Open Pilot's done that same exact thing so many times. 